Welcome back to Wednesday's Wine Academy, sponsored by Cobrand Fine Wine and Spirits. I'm Bill Bruno, District Manager of Cobrand. Last week I asked the characteristic that best describe Riesling grape. The answer is C, floral, peaches, limes, and petrol. Now, when you're out there looking for Rieslings, you're going to find many different styles of Riesling. You're going to find sweet Rieslings, and you're going to find dry Rieslings. I brought one right here. This one's from the Mosel in Germany. This one here is more on the sweeter side. Now, some of the wines will say the degree of sweetness on the back of the label, or if you go to Alsace, most Alsatian wines have a number here, one being dry, five being on the sweeter side. If you don't find a wine that has neither one of them, the best rule of thumb is look at the alcohol. Now, if you have something from eight to 10, it's gonna be a little bit more on the sweeter side. If you find something from 10 and a half to 11 and a half, it's gonna be more semi-sweet. And then if you find something over that, then most of the time it's gonna be bone dry. Now, with pairing Rieslings with food, if you're gonna have a sweet Riesling, the best thing to do, spicy food. Thai in particular. Got some nice spicy notes in there, and the Riesling just brings all that sweetness, and it's a really good combination from the two. Now it's time for a new question. Which of the following is likely describes a wine made from Zinfandel grape? A, citrusy with apple and pear aromas. B, berries, jammy, spicy. C, grassy, oaky, cedar. D, dry, high, tannins, peachy. Like and comment below with your answer. Now a toast. A meal without wine is a day without sunshine. Cheers.